For many European troops, including Britain, Germany, Italy and Spain, their fighter plane of choice was the Eurofighter Typhoon. Originally developed as a pure air superiority aircraft, Typhoon excels in air-to-air -air combat. If an unusual conflict occurs, Eurofighter will likely be able to defend against the latest generation of flanker variants such as the Suhoi Su-35S. While Russian and European aircraft each had advantages, fighter jets were very comparable as a whole. Indeed, the Royal Air Force RAF Typhoon recently trained with the Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI flanker HIAF and found that was true. Flanker's first impressions were very positive, said Wing Commander Chris Moon, commander of Squadron 3, P, in a statement. This is an extraordinary fighter aircraft and it is a privilege to operate our Typhoon next to it. Indian pilots were also quite impressed with the Typhoon, noting that the two fighter planes were more or less the same. Both are fourth-generation fighter planes and are on average balanced, so the learning value comes from person-to-person -person contact, IAF Squadron Commander Aviaria said in a statement to the RAF. The person behind the machine is important. As Aria noted, most fourth-generation warplanes such as the Su-35 or Typhoon have comparable capabilities. Pilots of every type of fighter must learn how to operate their aircraft to the limits of their abilities. That means exploiting your aircraft's strengths and avoiding its weaknesses. In the case of Flanker, that means using extraordinary low-speed handling, thanks to its vector thrust capability, to compensate for very high, very high rotational speeds. An excellent energy addition while utilizing high-low angle attack capabilities. It was similar to how the pilots of the United States Air Force and the U.S. Navy flew the F-A-18 Hornet and F-15 Eagle against Typhoon in combat in visual range. Pretty much depends on the individual and luck. Beyond visual reach, technology plays a greater role, but tactics, training, and procedures are the key. The group of fighters must coordinate with each other with AWACS aircraft or ground controllers. For example, a senior pilot from the U.S. Air Force instructor explained that if there were four F-18 fighter jets versus four F-15 fighter jets using standard blue tactics, unless someone made a mistake, each fight would end in a draw. Dot. In addition, this tactic will generally be hidden by outsiders. For example, U.S. Air Force units generally do not use their sophisticated tactics during international training because that can leak techniques. From a technology standpoint, both the Su-35 Flanker and Typhoon are not currently equipped with an electronically scanned array, active radar array, but both have good capabilities beyond visual range. Both fighter jets are designed for high speed, high altitude beyond visual range, and therefore can release weapons outside of its visual range. But it is not known how effective the Russian fighter identification system is because pilots must know what they are going to shoot. In addition, the vehicle interface in the cockpit and the Typhoon pilot is exceptional, far better than that found in the current flanker variant. The Cyclone also has one other advantage. In the coming years, the British Air Force will begin deploying MBDA Meteor missiles. The Meteor missile, which is a long-range ram jet-powered weapon, is possibly the best air-to-air -air missile developed to date. Has excellent final performance and can be a Typhoon pilot trump card, at least until Russia develops an equivalent weapon. The Su-30 and especially the Su-35 are very good fighter planes, and become a handful of fourth-generation Western fighter planes in the event of a war. But in the end, Russian planes were still lagging behind in terms of sensors and pilot vehicle interfaces. Thus, excellence is still in the hands of Typhoon. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multi-role fighter. The Typhoon was designed originally as an air superiority fighter and is manufactured by a consortium of Airbus. 
Space Systems and Leonardo that conducts the majority of the project through a joint holding company, Eurofighter Jagdflugzeug GmbH formed in 1986. NATO Eurofighter and Tornado Management Agency manages the project and is the prime customer. The aircraft's development effectively began in 1983 with the future European Fighter Aircraft Programme, a multinational collaboration among the UK, Germany, France, Italy and Spain. Disagreements over design authority and operational requirements led France to leave the consortium to develop the Dassault Rafale independently, a technology demonstration aircraft. The British Aerospace EAP first took flight on 6 August 1986. The first prototype of the finalized Eurofighter made its first flight on 27 March 1994. The aircraft's name, Typhoon, was adopted in September 1998. The first production contracts were also signed that year. Political issues in the partner nations significantly protracted the Typhoon's development. The sudden end of the Cold War reduced European demand for fighter aircraft, and the debate over the aircraft's cost and work share. The Typhoon entered operational service in 2003. It has entered service with the air forces of Austria, Italy, Germany, the United Kingdom, Spain and Saudi Arabia. The air forces of Oman, Kuwait and Qatar are export customers bringing the procurement total to 623 aircraft as of 2019. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a highly agile aircraft, designed to be a supremely effective dogfighter in combat. Later production aircraft have been increasingly better equipped to undertake air-to-surface strike missions and to be compatible with an increasing number of different armaments and equipment, including Storm Shadow and the RAF's Brimstone. The Typhoon had its combat debut during the 2011 military intervention in Libya with the UK's Royal Air Force and the Italian Air Force, performing aerial reconnaissance and ground strike missions. The type has also taken primary responsibility for air defense duties for the majority of customer nations. In 2000, the UK selected the MBDA Meteor as the long-range air-to-air missile armament for her typhoons with an in-service date ISD, of December 2011. In December 2002, France, Germany, Spain and Sweden joined the British in a $1.9 billion contract for Meteor on Typhoon, the Dassault Rafale and the Saab Gripen. The protracted contract negotiations pushed the ISD to August 2012 and it was further put back by Eurofighter's failure to make trials aircraft available to the Meteor partners. Meteor is now in production and first deliveries to the RAF were scheduled for Q4 2012 but full clearance on Typhoon was not planned until mid-2016. While the Meteor may have been delivered, it will not enter service before 2017. In 2014, the second element of the Phase 1 enhancements package known as P1E Flat was announced, allowing Typhoon to realize both its air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capability to full effect. Budgetary pressures being encountered by the four original partner nations have limited upgrades none of the partner nations have confirmed an order for Tranche 3Bs which would have been optimized for future higher tempo air-to-air -air and strike operations, and Germany has cut its own orders short to avoid the model. Furthermore, the four original partner nations have proved reluctant to collectively fund an enhancements that extend the aircraft's air-to-ground capability, such as integration of the MBDA Storm Shadow cruise missile. However, the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force has an enhancement program that aims to integrate the MBDA Storm Shadow Cruise Missile, the MBDA Brimstone Air-to-Surface Missile and the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile into its Eurofighter Typhoon Force. This program is known as Project Centurion and has set a target of December 2018 to seamlessly integrate the weapons and capability of the Panavia Tornado GR4 before the tornadoes go out of service. In 2019, in October 2016, Bay Systems confirmed that the first phase of Project Centurion's package of enhancements had entered the operational evaluation stage. In April 2017, 
Hefei Systems announced six successful firings by the Typhoon in 2016, including a simultaneous firing of two Meteor missiles. Training with Meteor is now due to take place with the UK Royal Air Force in 2017. Tranche 3 aircraft ESM, ECM enhancements have been focused on improving radiating jamming power with antenna modifications, while Eurodos is reported to offer a range of new capabilities, including the addition of a digital receiver, extending band coverage to low frequencies, VHF, UHF, and introducing an interferometric receiver with extremely precise geolocation functionalities. On the jamming side, Eurodos is looking to low-band BHF, UHF jamming, more capable antennae, new ECM techniques, while protection against missile is to be enhanced through a new passive MWS in addition to the active devices already on board the aircraft. The latest support for self-protection will however originate from the new AESA radar which is to replace the capture system, providing in a spiraled program with passive active in cyber warfare RF capabilities. CellXS has developed a self-contained expandable digital radio frequency memory DRFM, jammer for fast jet aircraft known as the Bright Cloud, which was expected to be available on the market by mid-2014. It will provide an off-board capability to decoy RF-guided missile seekers and fire control radars, producing large miss distance and angle brake lock. Thanks to self-contained coherent technique generation processing and high-power batteries that allow at least 10 seconds of life after firing activation, in addition to rapid response capabilities dispensed in the initial format from standard 55mm flare cartridge to equip at least three main platforms, Eurofighter Typhoon, Sob Gripen and Panavia Tornado.